Let's see if we can do a lunar flyby. Do I want this thing to hang out? We're gonna go straight to crude as soon as... I mean, uh, we need three slots. The thing about crude is they pay further up. We don't have enough to get the fast and we're probably not going to. So I think we should just finish this off and grab the crude orbit contract uh, program right now. Because in the ESSA series, I end up waiting for that bump. So that is my plan. We're going to finish this off right away and get crude orbit. Yes. Okay, we don't need to have the commsat payload in this. We do need more sciencey things. But we could probably, uh, in the spare space, toss in more animation mon 3. That's pretty close to transfer to the moon style stuff, but not overall. Hmm. I think we need multiple stages, not all in one. And anyway, it's not efficient to have this tank be... We could probably... We can fit more Delta V, but... Um, I think we should have two different bits. Well, we'll have to have another core. But this one will be the old one that we were already using. Maybe since it's a transfer stage, we don't need it to have the full deep space avionics, actually. This will be cheaper. This just needs to fly by the moon. It's not a commsat. It doesn't have to last forever. It's only a one ton controller. We can't have that much. I'm not seeing how that's going to get us all the way to orbit so that this can transfer us. Hmm. Maybe we need a bigger rocket than this. Or better avionics. I guess we can unlock improved stuff. 64 kilograms, 93 kilograms. Seems like a big difference. Let's go with improved avionics up here. But... Tooling's gotta be expensive. Maybe we can make these smaller too, they're not controlling as much. Okay, any ways to optimize the rest of the rocket then? Well, we already have basic avionics unlocked because I just did that. That one isn't cheap. Is there anything, any numbers I can type in to convince you to make that cheaper? Normally you'd want 12,500 to fly by the moon. We don't, but we have a lot of thrust weight ratio at the start, so the question is whether that's got to be enough. We will try it. This is not a commsat. This is a lunar flyby mission. I think we'll just call it Luna. But, but... Hmm. Oh, well, we can call it Usagi. Usagi Zero. Okay, now can we do all the tooling? Go away. Yes. We, um, we don't have the ability to plot maneuvers right now. <laughs> I just realized we should probably get those started, huh? I don't know if we'll have the budget to do both at the same time. Let's uh, reduce the work rate a little bit. Okay. Just in case. So we're doing this sort of blind. Our timing isn't great, but not horrible. Okay, okay, okay. We're a little bit too late. All right. SAS on, throttle up. And ignition. And launch. 
super vigorous. I love these guys. Alright, definitely pass the speed of sound and everything. Booster set. I really don't need it to go this steep this time. But let's make sure it doesn't flip out or anything. Staging. We the engine failed! I told you! I told you the engine would fail on the lunar mission. Dang you, Kerbal. RNG my ass, it's totally not random. I guess we can get it to orbit as another comm set. Yeah, these stages were not meant to finish orbit. Well, this one was meant to finish orbit just for the last little bit. But not like this. This is going to be tough. And I don't think we're even going to make orbit like this. I shouldn't have time warped through the explosion. Oh well. I feel like we don't have enough Delta V though. Well, it's more Delta V. Let's go with more Delta V. Got the right experiments. We'll deny the existence of the first Usagi Zero, of course. Sort of Soviet, but there you are. And let's build two. Well, we'll launch in the dark. Bottle up. SAS is on. And ignition. And launch. Okay, passing through max Q and everything. And booster set. And separation and ignition. Oh, I ignited this time. Yay. And fairings. Oh, up, up, up. Okay. Well, maybe I should let the RCS go a bit. <laughs> um, you know, we could reduce how much RCS we're carrying on that. I'll consider that. Well, we'll get to see how much short we are. We're not that much. It's a few hundred. A bit lopsided. We'll take that. All right. Basically, say 400 shy. So we'll need something that has 400 extra. Let's just sort of try to get there as much as we can. This is not the orbit I thought I was going into. What the heck went wrong? I have planned miserably. What the heck did I do? Well, it's a good thing we're not trying to get there. <laughs> I, I made some sort of logical mistake with this orbit. That is for sure. Oh well. We'll just go prograde, burn as much as we can and get that high over Earth science. Okay. Go. Just thermometer and barometer, though. Okay. And do you have a whole lot left over there? Ah, not that much. And shut down. Okay, let's make sure we get the science. We'll edit the other one to get improved results. Can also sort of test comms a bit here. Uh, we probably need more comms. We got the science. We should bump it up to 43. I believe that's what I used to use. But then once we have the tracking station upgrade, it'll probably be better. Okay. It did its thing. Let's try to eke out some more Delta V. I'm gonna try to make the solar panels smaller. Just size for shutdown avionics. Antenna's still one. Nope, it's not 100. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh, we only have tech level 2 here. We could unlock more. 
But we actually need... No, we can't do 43. We'll have to wait for the tracking station. And moon. Well, we still have barely enough. Okay. And it's not always going to be transmitting. That should have been service module 4 in the first place. Hey, I want one ton. That's not much of a tooling cost. Okay, let's just tool that quickly. Ten newtons. And these are... Seventeen newtons. Let's see, what's the burn time on this? Four minutes and twenty seconds. Why don't we try to extend the core just a little bit? We're not using our full pad size. We've got lots of thrust to weight ratio at the start. 75 ton core. I mean, uh, avionics core. You... You only had a five minute burn time. But that's still more than we're using. I don't think that even... requires retooling. This one does, though. Okay, well, we beaked out a little bit more Delta V. We might as well wait for these. They're not that far off. Let me, let me pour on more speed. Let, let's actually pour it on to Mission Control. And try and get that done. We don't need to, this to go as fast. Alright, let's see. Antenna planning. Moon. ESN. Okay, we get one bit like that. Uh, it does seem to have a little bit more delta V, but it's just really bulky. And we probably want more than one bit. But yeah, it might give us maybe 40 meters per second extra, maybe. Let me see this one, if we just go for two bits, how much it is. Okay. I mean, it's not that much different. <laughs> it's not that much different than the bulkiness of the other thing is very inconvenient, so. Alright. Fly by the moon within 5,000 kilometers, throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. Darn one booster that always lasts longer. Alright, staging. And fairings. Okay, should I just let the RCS go? I forgot to reduce the RCS tanks, gosh darn it. No. That'll be something we have to do if this doesn't work. Okay. 3,200 left, we should be able to get to the moon, but we have two degrees of inclination. Then again, the node looks great, so... Shouldn't be a problem. And we can make maneuver nodes now. Okay. Five days, though. Okay. And... Ignition. Oh, I've done this way too late. I forgot, this isn't the only stage, just the other stage. Um, maybe I should wait in orbit. Okay, forget that. Maybe we'll delay this in orbit. Seems like we have comm support. We should still be earlier than this, but go! Okay, go! Zero? What? Oh, activate! <laughs> we had shut down the avionics. It's working! But we're probably gonna need a bigger rocket for better stuff. But we need a bigger rocket for the crude stuff anyway, so... We'll just bundle that all in. Okay, that's good enough. Let's try and do it. Well, we're gonna mess things up because we absolutely have to turn around here. 
okay. Okay, that's a little bit high up. But maybe, well, comms should be fine. Even if we're a little bit closer. A P is low enough for our contract. That's 5,000 kilometers. This is 1,250. Just a matter of whether I want to get lower or not. Maybe not for this time. We'll just go according to the rules. Low over the moon has to be pretty low. So I think we'll just go with what we've got and leave it spinning here. Okay, it is turning. Okay, we've got the moon flyby. All good. It'll do whatever it does. I don't know, it's got pretty good antenna it looks like. Well, not two bits per second. It's gonna ultimately go out of Earth SOI, but I don't think it'll maintain communication all the way. We'll let it try though. Back to Space Center. I think next time we're definitely building a bigger pad. We need a more capable rocket. We got the Space Probe Breaches Moon thing. 1981. Well, that'd be pretty good if JAXA got one over there by 1981. I forget when they first launched something over to the moon. So yeah, we'll build a bigger launch pad and we will try to make it a launch pad capable of this stuff. So, human rated. And also the rest of the Lunar Probe missions because Lunar Impactor we can do right now. It's the orbiter that I don't think our rocket is going to be capable of. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.